Welcome to the AACS Daily News for September 26, 2017. Atterborough High School students had a chance to meet representatives from area colleges and the military recently during a college fair. We spoke with the organizers to learn more. Hi, I'm Julie Little. I'm the guidance coordinator at the high school and uh, we're here for the College and Career Fair. So we're very excited to have a number of colleges and um, various opportunities for, for our students at Attleboro. It's very important for us to make sure that all of our students have a plan upon graduation. So this is just another step um, that, that we do uh, through the guidance office. and. We want to make sure that all of our students have opportunities. So we start actually back in May recruiting uh, colleges and uh, universities and agencies to come. Uh, but we really feel that it's um, you know it's very engaging for the students uh, to meet the reps that actually might be reading their their applications. So. We feel it's really important. We're very humbled by the amount of, of institutions that come every year. It is a project that goes um, starts in May where we invite everybody. Um, we make sure that we uh, choose the date appropriately, uh, but all during the summer. We are connecting with people and, and double checking and um, there's a, a countless hours that, that go into something like this. But um, you know, when, when you see the smiles on the kids' faces and the, you know, the conversations, it's certainly all worth it. Hi, I'm Sharon Lamro. I'm a House One Guidance Counselor at Attleboro High. For the last few years we've had over a hundred colleges and every year we kind of cross our fingers and hope we're going to be able to fit in everybody who actually replies. It gives both our juniors and our seniors a chance to walk around and personally introduce themselves to colleges or job opportunities, military opportunities they might be interested in. and. Um, they start to create their college list then. We have a lot of students who actually walk in with a very unfocused plan and they walk out saying, I talked to three different people who have this particular major, I'm so excited I'm gonna do my research and it just gives them the spark they need to get going. Start early, uh, develop a nice plan, uh, visit institutions, uh, talk to guidance counselors, we, um, we, we love it when they come in, parents, students, um, definitely makes a difference. An Atterboro High School class from the past recently had a reunion. The Atterboro High class of 1957 had a meet at Bellisarno in North Attleboro, and we spoke with the organizers to learn more. I'm Dan Nolan of class of 57 with a committee with Bernie Proya and Kenny Benoit, and we brought this group together for our 60th reunion. We got, uh, I think, 37 coming, uh, close to 60, and all total coming, so it should be a good time with a buffet and uh, cheese and crackers they're on right now. But the people are mingling around now, they haven't seen each other, you know what I mean? So they're, they're kind of talking to each other. When they leave now, after tonight, they're not going to see each other for a, a good time. So Five years ago we had a class reunion and it's a great opportunity to uh, see our old classmates and uh, see how young they've gotten and uh, it's been a great opportunity to have us all together. We started actually two years ago, we were planning out the ideas of how we were going to handle this. We wound up with just a, us guys, we, yeah, usually well. we have women uh, we're aboard <laughs> and then the, the, they're not here. So it's, as you see, it's got a uh, feminine touch by his wife, my wife, his wife. Right. So that's how we brought this all together. I, I sent out 109 emails that we thought were good and I got uh, back 73 of them as non non-addressable. So, that, so that's when we switched over to send them by uh, U.S. mail. And on the U.S. mail, are those, uh, actually it was 84 of total, uh, 29 of them came back as undeliverable. So it's, it's a chase, no matter how you look at it. We get about 20 percent. There was 192, we have 37 class members, 38 class members, yeah. And 49 have passed away. It's, I think it's just the age. It's, it catches up with people. Yeah. You may want to see our classmates, you know yeah. what I mean? As this, long as we can, we're going to see them. This is my 12th reunion. And, uh, <laughs> there are some want to be yeah. here, but they can't be here. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully yeah. the next time we'll meet, we, we will meet. That's it for today's update. For ACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.